Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my April favorites. These are just products that I've been loving during the month, um, that I've been using frequently, or products that are just kind of worth mentioning. So um, I didn't find many products that I thought really stood out to me, um, but the products that I did find were makeup related. Um, so those are all the products that I have to show you. And the first one is the Stila Convertible Color in Camellia. This is a dual lip and cheek cream, so you can use it for your lips and your cheeks, and um, it's a cream based. This is the color. Um, I wouldn't use this color for my lips, I think it's a little bit too brown, but for my cheeks it's absolutely perfect. I um, dab a little bit right up my cheek, kind of on the cheekbones, and um, it's a great bronzer or uh, even a blush. If I want to use it as a blush, I usually apply it more sparingly, and then if I want to use it as a bronzer, I kind of just dab it on like that. So, um, yeah, this is a great product. I've had it for a while now, actually, but I just kind of found it underneath all my makeup drawers, and I've been using it ever since. So, yeah, I really like this. The next product that I have is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer. This has SPF 15 in it, so I thought it was worth mentioning because I've been using it a lot lately since it's warm out and sunny and um, I have sports after school so this is just a great moisturizer it's really creamy and silky on my skin and it doesn't smell like sunscreen which I love um, because I hate that smell of sunscreen on my face like I don't know it just feels weird um, I was using my Cetaphil moisturizer for the daytime but I thought that was just too heavy um, I felt kind of cakey afterwards after I put on all my makeup so this is um, a thin consistency. It has a little like pump bottle right here. So the next product that I've been really loving is the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. And this is in, well, this is a normal to dry skin formula and it's in 150 buff. So I've, despite the fact that it doesn't have a pump, which I do not like, the formula for this foundation is great. It's so moisturizing on my skin and when I put it on, it doesn't feel like I have a whole layer of skin on. I blended it in and it's perfect. I only used it like two to three times just because I don't think I really need it unless it's a special occasion. But for the times that I have used it, it's great. And um, I know the light's kind of washing me out, so this looks really dark for me, but it's actually my perfect color. So the next product that is also from Revlon is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Pink Whisper. I have it on my list right now. It's just, as you can see, like, it's just the perfect pink color. Um, there's nothing else I could really say. I mean, it has a nice texture to it. And I've bought two other lip glosses, like, the same brand, and I love them too. But that's just the perfect color. All right, so the next product that I have is a brow pencil. And this is the only brow pencil I own. It's the Prestige Brow Liner in Taupe. I bought this off of Ulta.com. And um, I actually hadn't heard anything about it, but I just decided to try it because I used the Browsings by Benefit, and it wasn't really my color, and for $30, it definitely wasn't worth it. So I just decided to go with a cheaper um, alternative. It's just my perfect color, and this is when I press down hard on the pencil. That's how it comes out. It's, like, not even dark. So it's perfect. It's really forgiving. If I were to, like, draw on my eyes, it probably wouldn't even look like it because it's just, it's not really pigmented, which is great for my eyebrows because they're um, pretty light. It's perfect for filling in those sparse areas. So I'm sure you guys were probably expecting this next product. Um, it's the MAC Lipstick in Ravishing. Um, this is the color. It's coming out more pinkish on this camera, but it really is like a coral. Um, it's, it does have a more pink base, so it's perfect for fair skin. It's a cream sheen, and it doesn't last very long, but it's really um, moisturizing. <laughs> All these products are like moisturizing. This one's just really great. The last product that I have to show you guys is by Revlon. Um, it's the Luminous Cream Shadows in Seashell. That's what they look like. Um, I've used this one a lot and that one a lot. I use these underneath my eyeshadows to make them um, more vibrant and last longer. And I just figured 
to mention these because it's the most neutral one that I have and it's the one that I use the most often. Oh, and I forgot to mention this. It's the Abercrombie & Fitch Perfume um, number 41. And you can see I used almost like all of this. It's the best perfume that I own. It's like it smells so good. It's not a fruity scent. It's not one of those scents that I usually do go for. But it's just really, really, you smell so good afterwards. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. It kind of has, like, a musky smell a little bit. But it's not, like, a man's perfume. It's, like, just, it's like that Promian Fish store. If you've ever been in there and you smell it, it's a little bit overpowering because they spray too much. But it has, it's a really nice scent. Um, yeah, so those are all the products that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed. Tomorrow is my birthday, and I will be getting a new camera, so I am super psyched. Um, I'll be filming on it, and I hope that the quality is better, because I know that this quality is horrible. So, yeah, um, I will talk to you guys soon.